Lipo bags aren't bad. Lipo bags help, but the thing is, those those Lipo bags, they usually, if you had three or four batteries in there, that's too many and they'll burn through. Um, so, Lipo, the, the best is a box of some kind that can contain the flames. Batsafe is really the best. Um, they help. It, it, lipo bags do okay if you have like one pack in there. But but what people often do with lipo bags is they just stuff them full of everything that'll fit in there. And and like like and I I mean I did this too. I, I don't think of lipo bags as as fire protection because like when I went to Rampage, I had a lipo bag and literally just packed the whole effing thing full of as many batteries as it would hold. It probably had 20 batteries in there, maybe more. And if one of those batteries had popped off, chances are good it would have lit the others and they all would have gone up and the bag just it can't contain all that fire. So that's the mistake that people make with the lipo bags. If you have a single bag, maybe it will keep the fire in. I mean, boom FPV is showing here. Boom FPV is showing this is one bag had one cell pop off and it, it, it blasted through. Um, it probably resisted some of the fire that would have come out. I mean, anything you can do to contain the fire is good. Because with lipos, there's no stopping a lipo once it decides to go. You just have to prevent secondary fires. Um... The best, I, I agree with this video. Thank you to the, uh, thank you to Archimedes in the chat for, for suggesting it. Archimedes showing this video, which is Video Aerial Systems. That's Alex Greaves' company. Uh, probably Greaves, the best better known as is a metal box lined with fire resistant uh, plate. Uh, I think he's using like fire retardant drywall. And what he's going to do, hang on, I'm going to skip all this stuff. Uh -huh. But what he's going to do is he's going to, so he's got a metal toolbox. That's really clever, actually. A big metal toolbox, and he is putting in fire retardant gypsum board. And then you can see he's got spacing here. This is really clever. Spacing here, spacing the gypsum board away from the walls of the... Uh, toolbox a little bit. I Well, he hasn't done that on the front. That's interesting. Oh, is he about to put a spacer in? Maybe he is. Um, <clears throat> so I think the thinking there is it'll keep the batteries away from the heat away from the walls. Uh, and then, all right, there we go. We're putting some com compartments in, I guess. So here, I guess we're going to do a little... Oh, don't do that, Alex. Oh, no, 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 no. Never, never use gasoline to start a fire. Never. It's so dangerous. Use kerosene, use diesel. Never use gasoline to start a fire, you guys. Public, pause the video. We're, since we're talking about fire safety here, let's finish the video. He lights a fire. The gypsum board, we show that it's fire resistant. Fire resistant, I guess. Not fire uh, retardant. Does he light a battery off? I don't think he does. That's pretty clever. That's pretty smart. Uh, I don't know if you're going to come in cheaper than buying like a bat safe, but it sure is bigger. Um... Uh, never, never start a fire with gasoline. Uh, uh, anyone who works in any EMT, paramedic, or firefighter will tell you, do not do that. Carbon cage says standard practice in Australia. It's standard practice a lot of places, but, um, and I know, I, I'm going to sound like a, uh, I don't know, I'm going to sound, come on, Bard, well, all the cool kids are blowing themselves up with gasoline, loser. <laughs> Um, 
The problem that is that uh, gasoline gases, off gases, or, or uh, vaporizes. If gasoline vaporizes very aggressively, and the the fumes will ignite. Diesel doesn't really vaporize, doesn't create fumes that'll ignite. So what you'll see people do is they'll just glug, 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 glug a bunch of gasoline on their brush pile, and then they'll go get the lighter, and they'll come back and they'll light the, the brush pile, and all of a sudden, this humongous field of gasoline vapors that they have been standing in without knowing it will ignite, and they'll just be standing in a sea of flame. Um, the other thing I've seen happen is if you pour gasoline onto an existing fire, the fire will 100% chase the gasoline up into the gas can. Um, there are probably safer ways to do this and dumber ways to do this, but uh, the best the best thing is to not do ga use gasoline and to use a proper fuel. So. That's my little PSA for the day. Uh, Mo says, well, maybe that wasn't gasoline. Maybe that was just a gas container. If you put anything other than gasoline in a red container marked gasoline, y y you're going to get, that's a mistake. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, yeah. I say this, by the way, I say this as someone who has... Uh, been a board member and a safety team lead for burn for regional Burning Man regional events. I am no stranger to lighting things on fire, <laughs> but we tried to do it in ways that uh, I was about to say we tried to do it in ways that didn't cause explosions. We tried to do it in ways that caused explosions that were where we wanted them to be and didn't kill people. Can I show you something? We're going a little off script today. Uh, the regional burn that I uh, worked for and helped organize was Alchemy. And I think this was our, I don't remember which year it was. This was our effigy burn. Uh, I was the, the safety team lead for this. Let's see if this is actually a good video. This is kind of crappy. How about this video? Okay, this is going to be a good one. Can we get sound? Okay. So, uh, I'm no stranger to, to making things go boom, but I still don't think you should start a fire with gasoline. Now, those, in fact, were gasoline. <laughs> we, uh, that year, we hired a pyrotechnics team, uh, and we said, we want you to make explosions that, uh, that knock people on their ass. Uh, those were gasoline mortars. So the way that, uh, I shouldn't tell you guys this, you're going to, if you kill yourself doing this, it's not my fault. You get a big metal tube about six inches in diameter and about uh, four feet tall, if my memory's right. And it's welded to a big metal plate so it can't fall over once you done set it up and stake to the ground like with rebar. And then what they do is they put a black powder charge in the bottom of the tube with a fuse. And they put a plug of wadding and then they put a bunch of gasoline in the top. And then when they light that black powder charge, it <clears throat> throws the gasoline up in the air and ignites it and makes a freaking explosion mushroom cloud like you never saw. So that technically was gasoline. Okay. Good times, good times. That was the best year. That was the best year. That was the best effigy burn. It was all downhill from there. <laughs> In some ways. <laughs>